Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to find all the files and folders within any directory with the help of Java Eclipse programming language. So how we can do that? First of all, we need to click on create a new Java project. Here we will write file finder 01 or any other name of your own choice. Click on next and then click on finish. Now go to file finder folder, go to src folder, right click on it, go to new and click on class. Name of the class can be anything like a finder double three. You also need to click on the or take the public static void main function, click on finish. So now this is our main coding window. So now what we need to do is to write our code here. And before writing our code, we need to import two major classes. So what are these? So we will write import java.io.file. So this is our first class, import java.io.file and this file actually is a sub package or sub class of this main package io and main package java. So with the inside this file there are certain methods which can perform certain functions. So that is why we, we have imported this one. Okay and the next thing is import java.io dot io exception okay now this these are our two main classes in void main function we will write our code here so our first class is file and this is our object of that particular because we if we want to uh, fetch certain functions with the help uh, from the this class file then we have to declare an object uh, and this is the procedure of uh, declaring the object is file dp is equal to new file file dp is equal to new file and in the parameter brackets we will write c colon hash hash okay c colon c colon hash hash file dp is equal to new file is equal to c colon because we want to find all the files and folders inside this c directory so file dp is equal to new file c colon slash slash okay now now this is uh, and with the help of this dp is an object okay you can change the name of this variable if you want okay so file dp is equal to this thing now uh, the second thing is file file and files list file and files list okay files file and files list is equal to we will write here dp dot list files now you you must have to understand this thing that list files actually a method or function and what is the uh, task uh, of this function it actually works like uh, it, it used to give the list of all the files okay and and all the things or the file list is stored inside this files list variable or object and db is it, we can call it as an object with the help of which we can access this method okay and then all the things will be stored inside that is string type data is stored inside this files list it is like if there are certain folders and all the list will be inside this files list okay uh, variable okay now we will after this is done we will write system or uh, 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 no need of this thing okay now we will go for for loop we will write for and brackets of this for loop 
so this is our for loop so here we will write one thing that is the for file file for file in file colon files list files list now what is actually this thing actually what is actually this thing and okay so here file is our class and this thing this file is our what's called is the object another object of this file main class okay so we will click on this and this thing now now what is this thing that is okay so we, we need to write files list and this thing okay now files list has all the uh, list of all the files okay and every iteration of this for loop one by one it will be stored inside this file variable okay just like at first the first name of the file will be stored inside this file and then again and again okay next and next okay so this is like this so now we will write inside the for loop system dot out dot print ln print ln system dot out dot print ln okay so this thing is okay so we will write here to brackets okay system dot out dot print we, we, we can write file dot file get name okay file dot get name file dot get name what is actually this thing now you must know that okay so this is file dot get name and there must be two brackets okay because it is a function now this uh, specific object will get all the name of the files okay file because uh, one by one it will be stored inside this variable file and obviously after every iteration the data or name of the file will be changed and dot get name will give us the name of that particular file or folder okay so it will be stored okay 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 now let me run it out so okay now you can see that we got all the okay now you can see it is written recycle bin when reagent documents and settings and this thing and all these program files and program data recovery and all this so videos and windows so in this way you can find all the all the files and folders within the directory okay you can even write d here e here or any other so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.